Hi, my name's Chris Connolly. I work with Renfrewshire Council. I'm an auto electrician, work in the transport department. I'm supporting their union here, and as you can see, there's, there's a fair following. And you'll probably hear the, the horns going by there. Uh, a lot of support for the general public. They basically show our, our disgust and what the government are actually going to do with us today. And hopefully the general public will get behind us and uh, support their cause. Leave our pensions alone and try and get your uh, mess ups from somewhere else because uh, we're not taking any more. We've had enough. I'm Nicola McNair from Speech and Language Therapy. I'm Esther O'Hara from Speech and Language Therapy in Glasgow Oil Infirmary. <laughs> uh, we are out today because we are fed up with the government telling lies to the public about the situation with pensions. Um, basically they're telling the public that they are paying for our pensions, which they are not. We are paying for our pensions, they are not. They're also telling us the pensions are unaffordable. Certainly the NHS pension scheme, and I understand all the public sector pension schemes, are actually making money. The government are asking us to pay more into a big black hole that they are then using to bail out a deficit that we did not cause. And it's high time the public realised that and got behind us. If they come after us, they are going to come after everybody. Cameron Osborne and Clegg need to think again. The people you see here today are going to be the voters at the next general election. Do you really think we are going to put you back in power to continue to decimate our service and our pay and our pensions? My name is Willie Riggins and I'm here today because of these clicks. Asking people to work longer, to pay more and to get less. It's totally unacceptable. We in the private sector lost our pension through bad government legislation. The 1995 Pension Act. I'd hate to see it happen to these people. We've got to fight, got to fight for what's right. We've, they paid for this and they're dealt to get what they paid for. We're here today to defend our pensions. The government seems to think that we'll work all our days and not get anything to end it. We're paying well. We're not paying any more to get less at the end yet, and we deserve the same as everybody else out there. Uh, we're out here working hard for living. I think we deserve it. We're not going to give up fighting. We are part of Unite for the Glasgow subway, and we are out to march for the, against the cuts for our pensions. Good numbers, and hopefully that will send a strong message to Downing Street. Margaret Ford and I'm out to fight against the government when they've cut back for their pensions. My name is Marianne Gilchrist. I'm marching with the IWW uh, in solidarity. Conditions are under threat not just for uh, the public sector, people whose pensions are directly affected by this, but I think across the whole public sector and really the whole fabric of society uh, is being threatened by you know, the cutbacks and the policies of this government. Um, a student at Glasgow University is speaking, this isn't just about pensions, it's mm -hmm. about the government's policies and its ways of people in this country. And, uh, I think I've been on, I've been involved in the left for quite a while, uh, but I think this is the, one of the only demonstrations I've been on where like, it's the support of the vast majority of the people in uh, the city is like, actually palpable, uh -huh. um, so that's really positive. Susan, um, I'm marching today because of the, un the injustice against our pensions. It's kind of an understanding that, I mean, I think there's this kind of notion that we've got this gold-plated pension idea and public sector workers, the average pension is £6,000, it's certainly not gold-plated. So. I'm marching today because I think it's really important to protect uh, public sector pensions. Uh, both my parents' pensions are going to be cut lots of my friends and I think it's absolutely appalling that the government's uh, putting the blame for this economic crisis on people who can't afford to pay for it. I'm out on annual leave to support the public sector workers, protect their pensions, get them a decent pay rise. 
uh, also to condemn the government for the, treat the way they're treating our people and our workers. Our money has been spent by the greedy one person! the schools, the offices throughout Scotland, we have seen the real big society. Because if we don't defend pensions today, they will take, be taken away from our young people tomorrow. Scottish Government workers Alex Salmond at his official residence in Butte House this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome from PCS Pickets. Scottish Government workers and the staff of the Scottish Parliament itself. We say to the Government that you must make significant improvements in your offer or we will be back on strike again in the new year. It's indeed a great pleasure to be here at the, the site of my birth, Glasgow. The mantra from Westminster and David Cameron has been to tell us time and time again we are all in this together. We must all share the pain of this economic crisis. But why the hell should you be shared the pain? You did not create this crisis. Look around us here today. Thousands of people that provide essential public services joined in collective protest. The teacher that didn't cause the crisis. Neither did the nurse or the school janitor or the refuse collector. Well, capitalism went crazy over the last generation. You were treating our sick, educating our children, and caring for our most vulnerable. Doing the job that keeps everything else going. Hard working people, like the engineer or the construction worker, they didn't cause this crisis either. And comrades, neither did the ordinary shop floor worker in our high street banks, many of whom come from our union's finance sector and have joined the ranks today across the country. Everyone knows where the blame lies for this economic mire we find ourselves in today. It lies squarely with the corporate class who gambled and lost with every facet of our lives, our savings, our mortgages, our pensions, the 1%. The system works for the few and not for the many, but now it's broke. The free market, casino capitalism, that has failed ordinary hard-working people and we aren't going to prop it up any longer. In the years to come, David Cameron's big lie that we are all in this together will go down as one of history's greatest coins. But the truth is out there, comrades, and we're not going to be mugged by millionaires and billionaires any longer. United will never be defeated. Workers United will never be defeated.